guys, I'm excited to come live and share with you an incredible new feature and tool that is an absolute game changer, especially for those of us who love to create short form content, whether that is IG Reels, TikToks, YouTube Shorts, and so many more. All right, you guys, my name is Rachel Peterson. I'm a social media strategist. Uh, Metricool is actually one of my clients. We've worked with clients such as Metricool, uh, Dean Graciosi, ClickFunnels. And what's really interesting about managing a lot of clients' content all at the same time is very quickly you realize, oh, we need to get some serious systems and processes, workflows that make sense in place. So it's awesome when platforms pop up new features but there's also sometimes a delay or it can slow down your processes and workflows. And today we are sharing this live because we have an announcement, but I also want to share with you a super simple workflow specifically for scheduling YouTube shorts so that they automatically publish with no push notification. Basically, I'm going to share with you a free tool for scheduling YouTube shorts. You guys ready for this? This is going to be kind of fun. All right, so let's go ahead. I'm going to share my screen with you, which I'm excited about. Let's get this ready to rock and roll. Okay, so you guys can see everything here, right? So there are essentially, and let me make this a little smaller for just a moment. There are essentially two real ways that you're going to want to create YouTube shorts. Now, to give some context, YouTube shorts are essentially kind of like YouTube's comeback to IG Reels, TikToks, all of these platforms that are releasing short form video options and features. So this is YouTube's version of short form video. Now what's really interesting is once again, YouTube Shorts has kind of a secondhand culture from TikTok. So for most people, they're gonna find the easiest way to create is by creating videos in TikTok and then repurposing them to YouTube Shorts and IG Reels as well versus going IG Reels to TikTok because then you're going to be about two to six weeks behind uh, kind of what's happening on all of the platforms, if that makes sense. So what I love about YouTube Shorts is I oftentimes will take my TikToks that maybe didn't necessarily crush it there and I'll repurpose them both to IG Reels and YouTube Shorts. And sometimes the videos that didn't do great on TikTok crush it on YouTube Shorts. So for example, one YouTube Short that we uploaded that took me probably 60 seconds to create and upload got 660,000 views completely organically over a week. So there's a lot of power from YouTube Shorts. Now there are two different ways to create on YouTube Shorts, okay? And I'll keep this brief and then I'll show you the tool and workflow because it's so simple. You're gonna be like, yes, okay? So the first is to externally create and edit your videos. This can be done in a myriad of software. You can use InShot, iMovie, ScreenFlow, Camtasia, CapCut, Filmora, I go on and on and on. You get the point though, right? It doesn't matter which platform you use to actually create and edit your content, but you have to kind of just pick one, find the one that you love and go with it. I personally love ScreenFlow uh, and that's a Mac-based platform and a lot of people love Camtasia. The second way of creating reels is to repurpose short form content from other social media platforms, such as TikTok or IG Reels. Now, my personal preferred workflow is always to create in TikTok first because that's where the culture starts and then repurpose to YouTube Shorts, IG Reels, sometimes Facebook Reels, sometimes even Pinterest idea or story pins and so on and so forth. I've also heard, by the way, that LinkedIn is going to be very shortly producing their own version of short form videos. So creating one piece of content that works on multiple platforms, drop a yes if you're like, this is exactly what I need, right? Okay, so what I want to share with you guys is this workflow, and I'm going to do it based on repurposing content specifically from TikTok. Okay. Now I want to make one thing super clear, and this is something you have to decide as a company or as a business or as an individual. Um, there is kind of a gray area right now about using other people's sounds on these platforms. While Instagram reels and YouTube shorts don't actually penalize you for using other people's sounds and even copyrighted sounds and everything. Um, there is going to be a little bit of, I think, a revolution when it comes to using other people's sounds. So if you want to keep it as safe as possible, the best thing you can do is only repurpose. Now, this is up to you. It's individual. Um, only repurpose content that has your original audio. Cool. All right. So I'm just going to share what this video is with you real fast, and then I'm going to go through this process. It'll take less than five minutes. All right. Ready?
Let's hear it. One of my TikTok videos that I repurposed to YouTube shorts reached 640,000 views. Actually, it's 660,000 now, but who's keeping track? Okay, so I've got this TikTok of mine open. It's an original audio. There will be no issues um, ever from that, which is good to keep in mind. And I'm going to hit, uh, copy the link. Let me make myself a little smaller because this is about the workflow, not about me. So I'm going to go ahead and copy the link. And then I'm going to go to this website, which is snaptick.app. Now, keep in mind, this does not work the same on mobile. And it also, the paid version does not work as well as the free version. So I'm going to go ahead and paste the TikTok videos link right there and hit download. Now, once this pops up, this means that it's uh, underway and almost ready to be downloaded. When I hit download, an ad may pop up. You can just close it. See, just like this. And if it doesn't download before the ad pops up, just hit close. All right. So I go ahead and download it. Then I'm going to go to metricool.com. Now, metricool.com, metricool is my absolute favorite social media scheduler. Some people think, like, oh, you just say that because they're your client. No, they became my client because they are literally my favorite social media scheduler on the market. And so I want to share this with you. Now, they are my client, but I just want to let you know this video is not sponsored. And also, I don't make anything from you signing up. I'm literally just here to share and share this tutorial and workflow that'll make your life easier. Cool. So the next thing that I'm going to do, and by the way, I'll drop this in the chat. If you want to try Metricool for free to schedule your TikToks, YouTube Shorts, IG Reels, and so much more, their free platform is free for lifetime up to 50 scheduled posts per month, 100% for free. Uh, if you want to try their premium one, you can use code Rachel for 30 days free of premium. And I don't make anything from that just in case you're wondering. All right. So as you can see, um, this, this feature is really, really, really new. So it's really exciting to be able to schedule in one platform. And so I'm going to show you guys two things. One, how to schedule the actual YouTube short. And then two, I'm actually going to share with you um, what, what else you can do to kind of maximize making your content go further. Drop a yes if you like making your content work harder and smarter for you. All right. So I've got my YouTube account connected. Yes, you can schedule YouTube shorts on Metricool's free plan. Did you hear that? Up to 50 scheduled posts per month, completely for free for life. That is unheard of in this space and it's a game changer. So I'm going to go to create new post. All right. Now I've got all of these platforms connected. I literally haven't even scheduled except for the test one that you just saw. I haven't even scheduled a YouTube short through this yet, but this workflow is going to be a game changer, at least not for my platforms. All right. So we've got all of these little icons. These are all the platforms you can schedule to in Metricool. But what I'm going to do is make sure only YouTube is selected and specifically this little drop down right here. I'm going to change it to short. Beautiful. All right, so you can see right here, I downloaded the TikTok video with the original audio that I straight up want to be used as a YouTube short. I'm gonna drag it because it's drag and drop, which I am obsessed with. <laughs> I'm gonna add the video title right here. So if you don't see this, click inside of YouTube presets and I'm gonna add the title. And then note this, it says, if you don't include hashtag shorts in the title or description, it'll be automatically added at the end of the title. So that's really good to know, especially for those of you who don't have the shorts feature yet. That's the workaround that gets your video onto the shorts feed, which is really interesting. And by the way, that Intel comes directly from YouTube corporate. Okay. So let's say I want to do this one YouTube short, one YouTube short reached. 660k views in one week. So I've got my title here. And then this is where I'm actually going to add uh, the bio for everything. Okay. Now I personally use um, a, a specific YouTube shorts bio and that has worked really well for me. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that YouTube shorts bio and put it in here. So this is one that I use for all of my YouTube shorts and you can create your own if you'd like. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. 
Now, is this super customized? No. Are there better ways to do it? Yes. But sometimes we just need things to be fast and effective. And once in a while, it's okay to say, you know what, this isn't perfectly optimized, but it's done. And I'm happy with that. So you'll notice um, I do have some, uh, you can have up to 15 hashtags in your bios for your YouTube videos. And each one is going to rank as like a clickable, kind of a clickable thing or a searchable thing. It's it, it's powerful and it does help. It's not the biggest thing though. And then when it comes to my YouTube channel, I set up keywords to automatically be added to every video that I upload. So there's already a base of keywords that go on every single video. And if you didn't do that, totally fine. You'll just want to go back and add your keywords into the video if that's something that's important to you. Okay. So we got my bio in here. We've got the title. We've got the keywords automatically being added from the presets on my YouTube channel. And I'm actually going to make it happen right here, right now. We're going to hit publish and it's going to take less than a minute for this to show up. Okay. So let me just show one more thing and for in just a moment. Okay. So I'm going to hit save. It's always nerve wracking doing this with like a live audience. Do you know what I mean? Cause you're like, what if I just like completely went wrong this time? So I'm going to hit publish now it's going to save. It's going to be pending and then it's going to publish. I literally tested this earlier and didn't realize that it was not a push notification. Now, while I'm waiting for that to publish, you know what? What if I say, actually, I also want that video on IG Reels. Now, IG Reels does require a push notification, as does TikTok, and it shows up in the drafts on your specific device. But we could republish it to TikTok, but it came from TikTok, so I don't need to do that today. Let's go ahead and untoggle youtube shorts and we're going to add a youtube or i'm sorry an instagram reel so here i'm going to go ahead and share one youtube short reach 660k views in one week here's the process i followed now usually these notifications are going to come uh via email unless you set it up so that your phone gets like a push text notification so just check your notifications on your account to see what's set up I'm also going to actually just use this instead of the title because I really like what I wrote there and the, the hashtags are on points. So let's go ahead and do this. So we'll go to publish now and let's get that image or I'm sorry, that video in there. Da, 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 da. And you can see the preview of exactly what it's going to look like, which I find really helpful. Now, if I also toggled on TikTok, I can also go back and forth and see exactly what's going to happen. The cool thing is they also have the directions for how to manually post it once you have it uploaded and ready for scheduling. So I'm going to skip TikTok because it comes from TikTok and I'm going to go ahead and hit save. And then the push notification is going to come to me. Let's check out that YouTube short to see how awesomely that performed. I think we can just refresh my channel here and see the latest video. Let's see it. Oh, it's still, it's still pending. It's still pending. So as soon as it goes live, oh, it's publishing still. Okay. So I'm super excited about that. It will be live in literally the next 30 to 60 seconds on my YouTube channel. So I'm super excited about that. If you guys want to check out Metrical, you can try it for free. That does include uh, YouTube short scheduling. So if you want to use it for YouTube shorts or IG reels or TikToks, you get up to 50 scheduled posts per month completely for free, or you can try Metricool for 30 days, their premium version using code Rachel. Just make sure to spell my name right so that you get those 30 days free. I hope this has served you. I will catch you guys.